this thing means. We are basically uh, taking a parenthesis like this and we put it around the number. Okay, let me let me show you the examples and we will we will see it more clearly. Okay, so what we take is one is and I can I can copy it here. So one is zero, but we uh, we put parentheses around it. Yeah, so it's element which contains only zero, which is nothing else than element which contains only only one set, the empty set. Uh, this is something completely different than than empty set because this contains one element. Empty set does not contain anything. Okay, so in the case of two, we just take one, put parentheses around it, yeah, and now we write what what is uh, what is. Um, um, ah, that was uh, okay. Uh, slightly, slightly different, um, different way. Uh, sorry, we need to uh, redone it. Uh, okay, so uh, what we are basically going to do, we will take set of all smaller natural numbers. Yeah, sorry, sorry for the sorry for the mistake. So we will take set of all the smaller natural numbers till zero. Okay, so in the case of one, it's uh, it's quite clear what is it? Uh, one only the, or the only smaller number is zero, which is empty set. In the case of two, we have already two smaller numbers, one and zero. But we can uh, write there what what they are. Yeah, so one is nothing else than a set containing only empty set. Yeah. And zero is nothing else than empty set. So what we what we obtain here is a two element set. Yeah? So size of size of two is two as the number we know it. Yeah? And uh, it contains it contains empty set and a set containing empty set. And in the case of three, we will have two plus one plus zero. Yeah? Which is nothing else than a set which contains two, meaning contains empty set and contains set containing empty set. Now this is this is two set which contains one, meaning containing empty set and the empty set itself. So uh, this looks uh, probably like pretty much pretty much crazy, but but why not? Uh, so uh, using this, we can we can build uh, natural numbers, numbers, and also we can we can define operations as as addition and multiplication just uh, using using the set theory. Yeah. So um, so basically. Mm, what you need for uh, these two operations is um, something uh, like um, uh, uh, be able to add uh, one. And what does it mean? If we would like to go from n to n plus one, yeah. so n is set of all smaller natural numbers, n minus one, n minus two, and so on. And plus one is exactly the same thing, but moreover with the number n. Yeah? So we have n, n minus one, n minus two, and so on. Yeah. So if we would like to, like to um, make some function n x, which basically maps x to x plus one. Yeah. Like the the next uh, next number in the in the sequence of the, in the next natural number, what we can do is that we take x and take union of x with set which contains only one number x. Yeah. So if we join them together, this will be all numbers smaller than x. Uh, x minus two, x minus one, x minus two, and so on. This will be the x itself. So this is nothing else than x plus one. And if you have uh, this this n function, you can you can do the addition. 
pretty much easily because uh, if you would like to to add uh, like every every number except zero is uh, is um, x, uh, next number from from some other number. So if we have some some number n, then either there exists some number n minus one, or n is equal to zero. So if you would like to define what is a plus b, what we can do is that um, we say a plus zero. It's very simple. It's a, yeah. And if b is not zero, then it's a uh, like next number from from some some like so following some some other number. So we can say that this is nothing else than s of uh, n of of uh, some some c. Yeah. So what we now can do is c is smaller than the original number. Yeah? So what we can do is to sum a plus c yeah? and we will get a result which is one smaller than, than what we want. So the only thing we now do is to take the following number. Yeah? And so using this, uh, this procedure the value c the, the value of b will, will go down, 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 then we get to zero, then we already know, the, know the sum, and then we are going to add one and one and one till we, till we get the uh, correct sum. Okay? So, so this is, uh, for example, how we can, how we can work, work with, uh, with natural numbers. Yeah, so, um, so this is, uh, this is some kind of like introduction, and now, we can also like define uh, larger sets. So we would like to define set n, set of all natural numbers. And in set theory, we are actually uh, calling this um, this set omega. But this is uh, just just our notion for it. And so what we are going to do is we are going to take all natural numbers. Yeah? We take zero, we take one, we take two, and so on. And we take union of all these numbers. Yeah? Every number is a set, so we can put all these all these elements together. Yeah? So and uh, this this set will be will be already infinite because it will contain all of them. Yeah, so this is this is union of over all or x. X is a natural number, um, meaning uh, it's a number created by by our our procedure we described before. Yeah? So um, we have we have something like this. So this it will be basically exactly the set of all natural numbers because it will contain zero, it will contain one, it will contain two, it will contain three, and so on. Yeah? Every number will be there because x lies in in this in this set omega. Why? Okay, so x is some number and there exists the following number in the sequence. But what? X lies in this number, x plus one. Ah, x lies in an x, x plus one. So if we take this huge union, then also x we take union over x plus one. So also x is going to be put inside because of of this huge union. Yeah, the x plus one is somewhere here in this infinite infinite union. So uh, sooner or later we are going to get to it. Yeah. So we have also infinite set. Yeah. So we started with only the empty set, and from the empty set we are able to construct numbers, and from the numbers we are now able to construct infinite sets. Yeah. So um, so this is this is. Um, this is um, how it works. How we can like build mathematics, basically, like from the from the um, I don't know from um, from down there. 
from bottom. Meaning, you start with very basic, very simple things, you are very much sure that they are okay, or they are like the most logical, logical um, conditions you, you would like to have in the beginning, the most logical axioms, and using logic you will build larger and larger structures from them. And this is the way how, how mathematic, uh, mathematics works nowadays. Yeah? Okay, so... Um, we would like to we would like to um, work with uh, infinite sets and and talk about about infinity at this at this little bit. Okay, so um, we already um, have um, like one set which is set of all natural numbers and like we can in, in a very similar we can, uh, way we can uh, build um, other infinite set sets. You know, you almost sure we know, for example, whole numbers or uh, rational numbers uh, or real numbers or maybe maybe even complex numbers and things like this so so these are like sets which are which are infinite and um, but before we we, uh, we started um, like describing them but but um, let's talk a little about about the uh, sizes of the sets yeah so hmm. Like if we would like to uh, define the size the size formally, then then we need something which is, which is, which is called cardinal. Uh, basically, like as, as I described before, you can like uh, d uh, create some arithmetic, and cardinals are like uh, the sizes of the sets. Yeah. So mm, I I don't really want to want to go to exact definition because like for this introduction we don't need it, but. Um, like imagine that cardinals are like the the kind of special sets that they are in the hierarchy and they are like larger than all the sets uh, before them. Yeah? So for example, every natural number is is cardinal. For example, every x, which is uh, which is natural number, is cardinal, or omega is a cardinal and, and so on but uh, and there and then then you say that the size of the set is also cardinality of the of the set uh, um, but i don't know i would i would maybe uh forget about about um think the size of the set because basically like we either have like simple sets or we have the uh, infinite sets and uh, then like uh, nature would be okay so size of the set is plus infinity and we are done and this was this was like the old mathematics so we are not going to to enumerate the size exactly uh, this is something uh, that Cantor has done that he basically like uh, described uh, arithmetic of, of infinite numbers ah, but let's, let's um, go away from this so what we would like to say is not how large is the set but which set is larger yeah? so we have let's say two sets A and B and we would like to compare their sizes uh, whether for example one is smaller than the other yeah so this is this is um, something like is a smaller than b yeah and we can also write it like like this yeah like um, or uh, sorry this should not be there like this okay so uh, we would like to compare them and uh, so one thing, uh, one thing you could, you could imagine in the beginning is okay. So we have finite sets, and uh, there is like pretty much like a known uh, known way how to how to compare them. And then we have infinite sets. All of them are infinite, so they have to be the same same size. Yeah? So uh, this this order on on the sets will be very very simple. Uh, so we will see how is it how is it in fact, but. Mm, how we can how we can uh, show something like this yeah? compare so one way is to to calculate 
both of these sizes. 